classify and sketch the surface given by the following function. So here we have 4x squared minus 3y squared plus 12z squared plus 12 equals 0. So by all means, if you recognize the surface, you can go for it. But I'm going to simply start by rewriting this surface in a more graphing-friendly format. So to begin, I want to rewrite this surface by isolating the variables. So we are going to subtract 12 from both sides. So I have 4x squared minus 3y squared plus 12z squared is equal to negative 12. And now to really attain that graphing-friendly format, I want to divide both sides here by negative 12. So we can get a 1 on one side of our surface. So distributing that negative 12 through, we are left with minus x squared over 3 plus y squared over 4 minus z squared is equal to positive 1. So this looks a little bit more like those quadratic surfaces we just explored. So I want you to think back or reference your list of quadratic surfaces. What, which surface does this look the most like? So this looks an awful lot like a surface defined as minus x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared minus z squared over c squared is equal to 1. And do you recognize the surface yet? It's a hyperboloid of two sheets. Woohoo! So this is a hyperboloid of two sheets. So I'm going to take this one extra step further so that we can see the coefficients associated with each variable. And I'm going to rewrite our surface here as minus x squared by the square root of 3 squared. We can even think plus or minus the square root of 3 squared. This will be plus y squared all over plus or minus 2 squared. And this is minus z squared over plus or minus 1 is equal to 1. So we certainly have a hyperboloid of two sheets here. Now looking at these variables, we want to determine which axis is the surface centered about. So looking at this, we see that the only variable with a positive coefficient is y. So we can say that this surface, our classification of the quadratic surface is a hyperboloid of two sheets. And this is centered about the y-axis. Now, because this hyperboloid of two sheets is centered about the y-axis, we know that this is going to have vertices or singleton points defined by the coefficients of y. So again, we know we have vertices at y is equal to plus or minus b, the coefficient associated with y. And so our plus or minus b here is plus or minus 2. So our singleton points are going to be 0, 2, 0, and 0, negative 2, 0. And now let's also keep in mind a little bit of information about the traces associated with those hyperboloids of two sheets and their excess of symmetry. So let's also note that traces with y being equal to some y naught, such that y naught is an element of the real numbers, and the absolute value of y naught is greater than b. So in this case, this is going to be greater than 2. So this tells us that these traces are ellipses. And then we'll also keep in mind that there are no traces if the absolute value of z naught is less than b. So in other words, less than 2. All right, so we've classified the surface, and we have described some important features of this surface in relation to its axis of symmetry. So last but not least, what about traces associated with x and z? So let's recall that traces with x being equal to x naught 
and or z being equal to z naught, such that x naught and z naught are real numbers, we recall that these traces are hyperbolas. All right, so we are good to go. Let's sketch ourselves a graph. So if you have graphing paper, I encourage you to use it. Otherwise, just be sure to label and try your best. So here we go. Here is space. We've got the z-axis, we have the x-axis, and the y-axis. So again, the y-axis is our axis of symmetry. So let's think we have two vertices. So we have a vertice at the ordered triplet, 0 to 0, and 0, negative 2, 0. And here we go. So we know the general shape of our hyperboloid of two sheets. So here is the portion of our hyperboloid of two sheets opening towards that positive y-axis. And we know that we also have a sheet or a portion of our hyperboloid of two sheets opening towards the negative z, well, excuse me, negative y-axis. And so let's go ahead here and incorporate some other traces to help us really establish that three-dimensional surface. So adding some ellipses here, we can really start to see our surface. And of course, because this is a surface, we want to be sure to shade everything in so we know that there are infinitely many traces here building up our hyperboloid of two sheets. And we can incorporate some extra hyperboloids if you want, but we're really starting to appreciate what this surface looks like. And so there you have it. Here is our hyperboloid of two sheets.